Hello, after many ESP32 projects I decided to play with my old friend Arduino Nano. I don't use this board very often uh, and I got few ideas and I was curious is this tiny 80 mega 328 fast enough for pocket PC for example. I knew immediately that the biggest problem will be memory. So let's find out can this guy handle work I planned. Uh, all of my projects have some sort of display and this project is no exception. In this video I'm using Arduino Nano, all a display and few components to make pocket computer or palm computer or pocket organizer. They were quite popular back in 90s. And here it is. It have uh, all basic functions like calcul calculator, stopwatch, game, calendar, phone book for storing contacts and numbers. Uh, I will show you every function in a minute, but first I need to show you this PCB. I designed this PCB because this way I can easier carry this in my pocket and show it to my friends and students. And of course it looks much better than breadboard project. Uh, like always PCB is produced by PCBWay. I'm using their products for more than two years and I'm always happy with they, their service. Especially with speed. This PCB, actually five of them, arrived in Croatia in less than one week. Uh, if you want uh, want this PCB, I will post post link in description so you can check it out. But wait for a bit uh, because I will share two versions. So stay tuned. Uh, later in video, I will explain both versions so you can decide which one is right for you. Here is my little PC. So here is menu. I can navigate through menu using these two push buttons and I can select function with this one. First thing I will do I will turn I will go right here and I will turn beeper, turn off this buzzer so now I can choose my function without annoying beeping sound. Here I have calculator, so for example, uh, I don't know, 52 divide by 5 is 10.4. Uh, I can go back if I push both of these. So next function is simple uh, stopwatch. Okay. Boring. Then we have a game. So I can this is great. This is a breakout game. I can move this um, I don't know how to call this player with these two buttons but if I just just a little but if I press this button LED will glow and now I can move it with potentiometer so I can I have two ways of controlling this Okay, next we have a calendar. 
calendar is in different orientation and calendar is all only for this year so now I can see which day is on a specific date this is January first month so for example my birthday is in oh it is Saturday so I will party great and last option is phone book with some contacts very simple I probably spend the most time programming this calculator and conclusion I managed to fit all functions I planned planned in this tiny chip and it was fun to find out that nano can handle these tasks I had uh, many problems with memory and with uh, newer libraries uh, this sketch is quite big and program was quite unstable so I ended uh, using my old set of libraries if you want to try this in the description you can find code and libraries I use it. Feel free to try my code, to play with it, to make your own apps with this. If you have any ideas how to improve this, let me know in the comments. And if you want to order this PCB, if you have these components laying down, Keep in mind that I created two versions. There is one problem with these OLED displays. Some of them have this pin configuration. So ground, VCC, serial clock, serial date. And some of them have this pin configured as VCC. So first pin is VCC then go ground and then go serial clock and serial data so if first pin of on your OLED display is ground you will need version 1 and if first pin on your OLED uh, display is VCC then you will need version 2 so keep in mind that when ordering your PCBs links are in description so check them closely and read I will write that one more time um, my old trick is to use two identical PCB to make this combo and between I put a this lithium battery uh, but you can power this device with normal USB cable uh, here you can find additional programmable pins 7, 8 and 10 if you want to uh, connect additional sensors or module to this board and here is VCC and ground and that's it tell me what you think about this pocket pal do you love to treat microcontrollers as computers if you want to support my work you can find the link in the description so feel, me, feel free to buy me a coffee and many thanks to all my supporters you helped me to buy camera equipment and you help help me to run this channel thank you if you are here for the first time don't forget to subscribe have a nice day and i will see you soon with something new i hope bye